Hi everybody, welcome to the astrology chat for July 10th, 2024. So the keys for today to allow yourself to find the power and the strength in restrained decisions. And I say this because with the energies that we have today, the more that you allow yourself to stay, step back and take a long view about whatever you're looking at, your relationships with other people, yourself, what you're working on, what you're healing, what you're realizing, if you let yourself embrace a discomfort of being like, I'm not where I want to be right now, but I'm getting there, and I'm certainly not where I was before, then it's going to be a day of really deep awareness and introspection. I would just say this whole week, keep your journal near you or your notepad or however you jot down or communicate to yourself about what's going on internally and allow yourself to take this as a time to be like, I'm focusing on my own processing. I'm being aware of my own um, endings and realizations, and I'm doing so in a loving manner. Now, everybody's sensitive right now and because of this overall sensitivity again not a bad thing it's just allow yourself to take time and i say this because we have the moon in virgo today this is the moon in virgo that likes to deal with the details of the algorithm of your life um your health or your organization uh, how you are functioning right what are you doing on a day-to-day to make your dreams come true, whatever they may be. And this moon in Virgo has some interesting energy today. It has tension with both Pluto retrograde and Chiron. And so there is this energy of if you let yourself be aware of what you're healing and be aware of why you're healing it, the deep subconscious reasons why you're embracing this healing path or the universe is God is saying to you, it's time to heal this. If you come from that place, then you're going to see what you can't see, right? Especially with the moon having it in conjunction to the nodes. Some of the things you're like, I just don't know why this never fits. All of a sudden your emotions, if you're listening to them, are going to reveal to you what's really happening here. And if you let yourself speak and tap into the unseen, tap into the divine and hear that perspective, you'll see the larger things that are at play here. Especially since we do have a semi-square with Venus. And so this means that it's not about getting other people to make you feel good. Uh, And it's really about tapping into what you can do for yourself. And the square to Jupiter does mean that things feel really big. And with the square to Jupiter, I would say this is not a day to like go overboard. Where you find yourself wanting to disassociate, that's actually the moment you need to stop, process, pray, consider, do whatever you need to do so that you don't keep going to a place of disassociating from yourself and not understanding who you are and allowing your subconscious reactions to dictate how you're moving or connecting or quite frankly, anything in your life. And if you do this, it's actually going to be really sweet because we have the sun making a trine to Saturn that's now retrograde in Pluto. And so there is this really deep ability to make the parts of you that you didn't think work start to work for you. That the more you become the person who nurtures yourself and makes yourself feel at home and cares for yourself and loves yourself and even brings structures and limitations into your life, you sometimes you got to tell yourself no um, and let yourself find out what your new yes is. So with all of those things in play today, uh, just breathe. Breathe and love yourself through the process. I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.